Welcome to Darren Daily On Demand, your most trusted resource to help you become better every day. Here's your success mentor, Darren Hardy. A minister, a Boy Scout, and a computer executive were flying to a meeting in a small private plane. About halfway to their destination, the pilot came back and announced that the plane was going to crash and that there were only three parachutes, but there were four people. The pilot said, I'm going to use one of the parachutes because I have a wife and four small children. And then he jumped. The computer executive said, I should have one of the parachutes because I am the smartest man in the world and my company needs me. And then he jumped. The minister turned to the Boy Scout and smiled sadly and said, you are young and I have lived a good long life. So you take the last parachute and I will go down with the plane. The Boy Scout said, relax, Reverend. The smartest man in the world just strapped on my backpack and jumped out of the plane. Aristotle taught us long ago that there are four types of people. He described them like this. Number one, he who knows not and knows not that he knows not. He is a fool or he's under 30. He is dangerous and probably best not to listen to. On this note, by the way, I will add what Louis Armstrong said. There are some people that if they don't know and don't know that they don't know, you can't tell them. They're probably under 30 as well. All you could do is just let them jump and they'll know soon enough. Number two, he who knows not and knows that he knows not. He is simple, but he's willing to learn. If he's interested, you can teach him. Number three, he who knows and knows not that he knows, he's unconscious or asleep. If he's interested, you can awaken and elevate him. And then the fourth person is he who knows and knows that he knows he is wise. There, those are the ones that you want to seek, to instruct, to guide, and to lead you. The key lesson here is be very careful of those who claim to be so smart. Instead of taking their word for it, just watch them. It's only a matter of time before they arrogantly pick up the backpack and jump out of the plane. So today, think about the several people who give you advice, solicited or not. Now think about what category they fit into. If it's not number four, Stop listening and keep Louie's advice in the front of your mind. Stop wasting your breath on people who don't know and don't know that they don't know. Again, teenagers or 20 somethings, just let them jump. It's the only way they're going to learn anyway. 